Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here. Don't forget to subscribe. And today we're once again talking about artificial intelligence because we need to talk about why AI can't really tell time. Now it's a specific type of time, but this actually is an incredibly important one. And this should concern us for more practical uses of artificial intelligence like autonomous vehicles. And so Michelle Hampson of IEEE had a really good write-up on this. And if you can basically read an analog clock, meaning the clock that's sitting on the wall, big hand, little hand, you're actually outperforming artificial intelligence. Now, what we're talking about are MLLMs, that's multimodal large language models. They're the ones that are capable of analyzing different forms of media, text, images, video, et cetera, et cetera. And so obviously they're gaining traction, right? So we've got sports analytics to analyze plays, autonomous driving, et cetera, et cetera. Not to mention medicine, which is a whole different animal. So here's the thing. Sometimes these models fail at what seem like the simplest of tasks, including accurately reading time from an analog clock. So it's raising questions also as to which factors of this analysis is the problem. What, what are they really struggling with? And so, for example, when it comes to reading traditional clocks, do these models struggle to discern between short and long hands? Is it a struggle to pinpoint the exact angle and direction of the hands relative to the numbers? It kind of seems trivial, but these questions actually provide critical insights into the major limitations of MLLMs. So, we're going to talk today about a report that's coming from Javier Conde. He's an assistant professor at the Polytechnic University of Madrid, and he also did this in collaboration with colleagues at the Polytechnic University of Milan, as well as the University of Valladolid. So it is really interesting because they're looking to figure out why this actually happened. And they published the reports in uh, the IEEE Internet Computing on October 16th. And it suggests that if an LLM LLM struggles with one facet of image analysis, it then can cause a cascading effect that impacts other aspects of image analysis as well. So first things first, this team led by Javier basically uh, constructed a large data set of synthetic images of analog clocks, which collectively displayed more than 43,000 indicated times, and then tested the ability of four MLLMs to read these images uh, or read the times in a subset of images. All four models initially failed to tell time accurately. So the researchers were able to boost performance of the models by training them with an additional 5,000 images from the data set and then basically uh, tested the models again using the additional images that they hadn't seen before. But here's the thing. The model's performance dropped again when tested with a completely new collection of clock images. And so what they are really showing here in this report is, is that they're underscoring a key limitation of many AI models out there. They're good at recognizing data that they are familiar with, but they oftentimes fail to recognize new scenarios they have not yet encountered in their training data. In other words, they can't generalize like you or I can. So their tests show in this report that these MLLMs are struggling to pinpoint the spatial orientation of clock hands, but struggle even more when the clock hands have a unique appearance, which basically, which with the model has never seen or been exposed to before. So, for example, if it's trained on, let's say, big hand, little hand, that is just a straight line along a clock, that's fine. But then if you add arrows to the tips of the big hand and the little hand, it throws them off. Crazy. So... This also, though, uh, was not exclusive from one another. These issues were not exclusive from one another as they are looking at this because they did additional experiments and they found that if the MLLMs made an error in recognizing the clock hands, it then basically resulted in greater spatial errors. So in their study, the researchers underscored that in more complex real world scenarios, such as medical image analysis or autonomous driving perception, these subtle yet critical failures could lead to more severe consequences. And so, yeah, think about it. Think about being misdiagnosed with cancer because the AI reads the medical image wrong in the future because you have something rare or unique that it doesn't understand. And so it ignores it or does something else with it. Or maybe it tells you you have cancer when you don't because you've got something funky in your lung that is not cancer and it doesn't get that. These are things that we have to account for, not to mention autonomous driving. 
There are going to be a million different, um, tens of millions of different scenarios on the road, stop signs, you know, that are partially covered, bent, whatever, you know, reverse, stolen, et cetera, et cetera. Not to mention objects that may be moving uh, back and forth that, that we don't understand. A Waymo car recently ran over a cat. I think it was in San Francisco, you know, obviously killing the poor animal. You know, but Why? Do we understand that? And when we're looking at companies like Tesla, where you know they failed, literally one of their auto self-autonomous driving vehicles that the guy was sitting in behind the wheel and letting it drive, it failed to miss a moving train in fog. So this is a big issue, but I think it really underscores that as we are moving fast and breaking things in the artificial intelligence world, this has real life consequences and we need to make sure that we're putting guardrails around this. In other words, it doesn't seem like it's ready for prime time. It's almost there, maybe. It's very close on a bright, sunny day with no obstructions, no issues on a standard generic road. Maybe it does perfect, but that's not life. And we don't know what's going to be thrown at us, what's going to come at us, what's going to literally cross our path. And so that is a huge issue. <laughs> I mean, think about it this. We just went through Halloween. Imagine if somebody's got some funky, weird costume on and the autonomous vehicle doesn't understand that and freaks out in some way. Like these are things that we don't get. So, or rather the AIs don't get. And so we need to get it. And I think that's one of the big things. So I'll leave it at that. And again, I just, it is deeply concerning that, that this is an issue. It can't read simple clock hands, even if they're funky. You know, Salvador Dali aside, it's not, it can't do it, which has greater ramifications for all. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well. And as always, stay safe, stay online, and please, please, please attempt to stay private, informed, and secure. Take care.